The UK has pledged to be net zero by 2050, but what does this mean and is it quick enough? To answer this question, we need to know what carbon neutrality actually is. The Earth's atmosphere reacts really strongly to changes in the amount of carbon dioxide, methane and other greenhouse gases emitted into the atmosphere, and this is causing problems like global heating which is drastically changing our world. Terms like carbon zero, carbon neutral and net zero, they're all kind of similar, but the overall objective is to have our net carbon emissions reach zero. So what does net carbon emissions actually mean? It means that the amount of carbon being emitted and the amount of carbon being removed from the atmosphere is the same. So to achieve net zero, we really need to reduce man-made greenhouse gases being emitted into the atmosphere and remove those ones already put there to bring the whole system back to balance. So what if you want to become carbon zero? What can you do and how can you help? Well, basically we need to change the way we do things. We need to stop using fossil fuels which contribute massively to carbon emissions and protect our natural world. Nature already has amazing systems to remove carbon, such as trees and our oceans. Some of the best ways of becoming carbon zero are as follows. Cutting back on aviation pollution. Flying a plane may seem fun for everyone else, but when we look at carbon emissions, it's one of the worst polluters out there. We're not saying you can't fly and go on your holidays and have fun, but maybe just don't do it as often and look at alternatives like getting the train. Hopefully one day, the aviation industry will adopt a way of flying that doesn't use fossil fuels, enabling us to travel sustainably and keep exploring our world. Our roads. We've all been stuck in traffic, exhaust fumes bellowing out of vehicles. These emissions are seriously harmful to the environment. Exhaust fumes would need to become a thing of the past in order to become a carbon neutral nation. However, the good news is that the UK is already committed to halting the production of petrol and diesel cars by 2040. Companies are now investing in electric cars slash hybrids to help for a cleaner future, but it would be even better if we can walk and cycle as much as possible. Making our homes smarter. Our more energy efficient homes will be less harmful to the environment, and we are in them a lot right now. Retrofitting insulation will make our house more comfortable as well as being more energy efficient. Using energy sources and energy usage tracking systems, such as smart meters, can also decrease your carbon emissions as well as saving you a few quid. Changes to our diet A surprising contributor to carbon emissions is actually the production of meat and dairy. In some parts of the world, large areas of forests are cleared for meat manufacturers to grow their livestock. This means that we are removing one of the planet's natural solutions to removing carbon. Trees the livestock themselves, especially cows and sheep, emit a lot of greenhouse gases directly. Reducing our meat consumption can actually help cut down the world's global emissions, which is better for everyone. Industry It's always a little tricky when working with industry, but there are already alternatives that the public can turn to that don't involve carbon emissions. So I was saying before, renewable sources such as solar panels, wind farms, will help us move away from fossil fuels which are one of the biggest contributors to carbon emissions. So what is Surfers Against Sewage doing to help? We are an ocean-based charity, and it might seem weird that we're talking about the atmosphere, but it's all a knock-on effect. The ocean captures carbon, and if we continue to destroy the habitats of the plants and animals that live in it, with oil spills, single-use plastics, the ocean will then become a less efficient carbon sink. A less efficient carbon sink means that more carbon will be released into the atmosphere because it is not being captured by the sea. Sea temperature rises, the more the carbon sink is destroyed, and the cycle continues. But we are planning to stop this. Surfers Against Sewage are calling for the UK to reach net zero by 2030, 20 years before the government are actually ready to do it, because we don't think 2050 is quick enough. Surfers Against Sewage is calling to the end of single-use plastics by 2030. A lot of carbon goes into making them, as well as them destroying our oceans. Surfers Against Sewage is also calling for an ocean recovery, with ambition of 30% of the ocean to be highly protected by 2030. Hopefully, with all this action in place, we can save our oceans and save our planet.